Hey water signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your couple's love reading for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The uh, messages can be vice versa, so just uh, apply it where it fits. If it doesn't fit at all, just leave it and check out your other signs. Let's get a card that your reading, whoa, <laughs> that your reading will be based on. I'm gonna flip you guys down here so you can see your cards come out. Okay. All right, your guys' card that came out is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right. Well, hello. There are you. You're feeling very stable, very grounded, like you finally have your own two feet to stand on, um, finally feeling like you're in a stable commitment. Um, like you really have something to offer is I feel, feel important to say. The person that you are dealing with, whoa, is having a breakdown of a situation going on. The energy coming in for you guys is the Seven of Cups. So you could be delivering some news to your partner that really confuses them, shakes their whole world up, brings down whatever was not built on solid ground. Spirit's advice for you guys today. The Two of Wands and the outcome of this connection. The Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Bottom of your deck and shared energy is the Six of Wands, clarified with the Queen of Pentacles and the Justice card. Okay. So, you could be gaining a lot of popularity, you could be well known in the community. Um, you could be worrying about what it looks like to outside people due to your job, your stature um, with the people, with, you know, your friends, your family, you know, um, if you own a business, you know, your potential clients. You're worried about, um, you or the other person is worried about their outward appearance. Um, there is a balancing out going to happen. For some of you water signs, you are successfully moving forward and living your truth, speaking your truth and allowing um, the scales to balance out so you can move forward and out of a connection with somebody you share a home with so you can successfully move towards a more balanced connection, a more um, stable connection. So I do feel that you're walking because you see they're facing away from each other. You are moving away from somebody that you are currently with or somebody that you share a home with. This is a spouse, a partner, and are um, moving towards getting a divorce or a separation. Um, I do see you coming out on top in the uh, divorce or whatever it is because they are um, in the upright. Some of you, maybe only a few of you, I do see you successfully um, being elected within a government job. Um, that's just a side message for some of you. Um, but you're successfully also moving towards stability and in a connection with somebody else who is your vibrational match. This is somebody you're meant to be with. Um, in this lifetime. However, you have to get through this shakeup first. Either you or your, either you are the one that is leaving water sign, 
or somebody is leaving you. Let's see what this tower is all about. Why does one of them have this tower? The Ace of Swords. So one of you is waking up to the truth, um, finding out the truth. You could be the one delivering the truth and it breaks this person's world apart. It crumbles them, making them feel like they are betrayed, like they were left for dead, like you, how could you do this to me type of energy. Um, some of you, you're dealing with somebody who is going to be awakened very quickly, like bam, dark night of the soul, awakening, waking up in a very uh, abrupt and shocking manner, um, which a lot of dark night of the souls are. But the energy coming in for you is a person you're meant to spend your life with. Somebody who is a life partner. One and seven for me is, uh, wow, two sevens. This is a spiritual connection. You have to move forward and away from this connection in order to get to the person you're meant to be with. You could have thought the person that you currently are with was your person, your person for life. But you are waking up to the fact that no, they're not that you love them, but you're not in love with them and you want to move forward towards your true life partner. By you moving forward, it's going to eliminate the confusion because the Ace of Swords lifts the fog. So delivering this tower, whether it be to you or from you, is going to get the confusion out of the way. It's going to allow you to move forward. If they are delivering the tower to you, they're doing you a favor because it allows you to move in a more spiritual direction, getting out of the illusions and delusions and successfully moving forward towards somebody you're meant to be with. The wheel is changing. The wheel and justice are both cards of karma and they are both in the upright for you, bringing you to beautiful places, successful places, happy places. It may seem like a tower right now, but it is what's what's best for the whole situation. Spirit's advice is to, to take the time to stop and, and decide what am I wanting to do in my lifetime? Am I on the right path for me? Is this where I really wanna be? Is this really what I wanna do the rest of my life? Is this really who I wanna be with and be in a connection with? You know, it, it's not, like a bad connection but it's just one that you're not in love with anymore these are both cards of manifesting manifesting somebody from a distance you were ignoring this connection before now you are seeing what the universe was trying to show you with that huge cup so you are leaving a situation that no longer serves your highest good or or your heart's true desire you're moving away from the confusion and into a different path, manifesting your blessings, coming towards somebody that the universe was trying to show you in your path. Um, this could be somebody that you are separated from, but you have to leave this partner first. Why is the Princess of Pentacles in reverse for the outcome? Okay, so you could be moving away from a earth sign and towards a fire sign, but no longer holding out on an offer. You're now going to move forward with passion. You're going to allow the change to happen. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo here with all your outcome cards, spirit, or what's the blah, blah, advice for you and what's coming in for you are all fire. Um, no longer holding out on an offer, following your heart, allowing the change to happen and going after your true heart's desire. In the time of uh, when Sagittarius, or when Jupiter goes direct, or in the time of Leo, which is what we are in now, karma is gonna push this connection forward. Um, you are going to move towards somebody new. Um, so extend your lighthearted energy. The bottom of the deck was unrequited love. Getting out of a relationship that was more like roommates or more like friends than lovers. What else? Yeah, moving into a more spiritually connected uh, relationship. This has taken a long time to get to this decision, water signs, but you're now very confident in it. 
you feel like you're in a stable enough position to make this choice. Um, it's taking a while because you had to heal from some things of the past, but now you're allowing your intuition to guide you. You're allowing, you balance out your light and dark. You're now going after your yang to your yang. Whatever the other half of your soul, your soul mate, you're allowing your intuition to be felt and you're moving forward offering this cup to that person, making the choice to choose love that is blessed and protected by the angels and giving somebody a second opportunity, getting this wake up call, hearing the, the trumpets loud and clear and knowing which direction you have to move in to get this new beginning, following your passion, taking your position as a divine masculine, having the courage to face your fears, having the this is really self-mastery, balancing of light and dark, um, having the fear but doing it anyways. These are both about balancing. This is, these are both about spiritual connections, e eternal love, having one foot in the spiritual realm and the material realm, and having that perfect balance. You are going to move forward and step into your role as the divine partner that you're meant to, and you're doing it passionately. This is an amazing ending to what you felt like was it was this is really what needed to happen in order for you to step into the role you're meant to be in, to step into this relationship. Um, for some of you, you could have took too long to make this decision. So the universe is bringing in the tower for you. Um, your partner could be leaving you and it's what needed to happen. So you could get out of this unrequited love situation and get into the path that is manifesting in front of you, the path you're meant to be on. So you can do your soul's purpose. So you can follow your true heart's desire and give and serve to the collective in the way that you were meant to when you came to this earth. So very beautiful reading for you water sign couples. Yes, it's an ending of one couple them, but you're going to step right into your role as the divine partner and really start serving the the collective in the way that you truly in your heart want to do so beautiful reading face your fears don't hold back and take that first step forward water science i will see you next time god bless